We're in Fish Creek, Juneau, Alaska, and for the last few months we've been studying how spawning salmon affect five local watersheds. More specifically, we've been looking at how the salmon affect levels of dissolved oxygen and concentrations of contaminants. At each of our five watersheds, we have two sites, one below a naturally occurring barrier where spawning salmon are present, and another above the barrier that acts as our control. A couple times a week, we walk a 100 meter transect at our lower sites, counting the number of living salmon. We also count the number of salmon carcasses because they also affect the dissolved oxygen in our streams. So one of the main goals of this project is to understand how salmon influence dissolved oxygen levels in the stream. And the basic process is that when salmon come into spawn, they die, and the carcasses build up in the stream. Those carcasses are then decomposed, and the process of decomposition actually consumes oxygen in the stream, so it lowers the dissolved oxygen levels in the stream. This in turn impacts the live salmon that are in the stream, as well as the other fish. At each of our 10 sites, we take spot measurements of dissolved oxygen, temperature, and conductivity. We also have a series of long-term recording gauges that we have deployed at a number of our sites. Our hypothesis is that when the salmon leave the stream system, the dissolved oxygen levels at both the upper and the lower sites will return to comparable levels. Pacific salmon undergo most of their growth out in the open Pacific Ocean. And when they return to their natal streams in southeast Alaska to spawn, they bring in a pulse of nutrients that are uh, beneficial to the stream ecosystem. However, they might also be bringing in contaminants that they've gathered out in the ocean, and this is what we're looking at. We are measuring contaminant concentrations in water, stream bed sediments, suspended sediments, biofilm, a couple groups of aquatic insects, and rearing and juvenile fishes, both at sites where there are salmon and then upstream above the zone of salmon presence. So this project is part of our greater effort to understand the linkages between the ocean and the terrestrial system. Understanding how spawning salmon influence dissolved oxygen levels in streams is important in the context of climate change because as streams warm, they have lower dissolved oxygen levels. And so as we see oxygen depletion events associated with spawning salmon, we can expect those to have greater ecological consequences in the future in these warmer streams.